Hey man, cuz now I move. My boy was with me when they snapped, told me to get him out of that cuss. I said, let's go, boy. They were laughing. I said, let me tell you something. Y'all don't know Henry Gray. <laughs> Y'all never got a laugh out of Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm keeping it real. These home need to have a stun in them. Amen. That's right. Don't love your kids so much you mess around and you lose them now. Amen. You are the parent. You got the rain in your hand. You got to hold them rain. Other people going to tell you, don't do that. Don't do that. Let me tell you something. You got to discipline your kid. Ain't nobody going to help you come bail your kid out of jail but yeah. you. Amen. Same folk give you that advice. Ain't going to be able to help you take care of your kids. That's right. Yes, sir. Don't whoop them. They too cute. Talk to them. I talk to them out every time I be swinging. Didn't I tell you? I talk. I got to talk. It don't seem right to just swing and be quiet. <laughs> I got to talk to them. That's right. Isn't that right? Talk to him. Amen. I'm a believer that talk to your kid. Every time you swing, I said, look out, bam. <laughs> so I told him, you just too late. I was swinging him too fast for you. Let me tell you what to help out and be honest with y'all. Now, Lord, help me go the way for a reason. Mm. We got to learn how to get our home back together. Yes, sir. I'm going to be honest with you. Every time you look at the news, you see the so-called Negro family. We in bad shape. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, all these people do it cripple you because they come along when you sit around and you talk and you literate, they want to tell you you got a language called eat bunny. No, you just got bad grammar and you need some education. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Don't sit around and let somebody pamper you and make and dumb you down to be accepted in no society. You ought to think better yourself. I know a lot of us come from parent homes out of where your mom and daddy might not have gotten a high school degree or whatever or diploma, but you got to do better. Yes, sir. We living in better time now. We got a better opportunity. Things hadn't came on equal playing ground, but we got a better opportunity now than we ever gonna get with these people. Yes, sir. And the sad part, we still sit around here. You get a house, and I don't blame you. I don't want to live next to you either. <laughs> First thing you do is kill the doing grass. <laughs> as soon as your car cut off, you don't want to park it and drive. Put it in the grass. <laughs> yes, now sir. you're doing. You and your bad mouth drunk cars are gonna take the tires off on transmission fluid every doing well. I don't yes, want to live next to you either. Yes, sir. Yes, in that right. That's right, Peach. Doing trash all blowing over in your yard, then it jump all up the street. Old baby diaper sitting, old dog done got it, ran up to the four neighbor house. Yes, got sir. old wild, stupid dog chasing all the kids trying to get to the school bus. I don't want to live next door to you either. Yes, sir. They don't sit around talking about somebody race. Somebody don't lose their property back. Take care of what you got. Yeah, Amen. That's right. Nobody else won't challenge you and make you do better. I think more people than they think of themselves. Mm -hmm. That's why when I preach that clean gospel mm -hmm. to them, everybody else come with a dumbed down doctrine. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what, Jake, Long Dollar, Henny, and Joyce Meyer, all these sorry, no good, crooked preachers do to you. They dumb you down. Mm -hmm. That's how they get your money. Let me tell you what they do. There's a difference between medicines. You got traditional medicine that we know mm -hmm. society. Your doctor give you pills. Mm -hmm. So the key to these pills they give you. If you came, sir, let me borrow you for a second, please, sir, if you would. If he came to me and told me his back were hurt, what I'm not going to do is work on his back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a pill that's going to comfort his mind and make him think his back is not hurt. Right. Now, his body has been designed that when his back hurt, you got to kind of lean because the rest of the body learn how to support it. It's not comfortable. Mm -hmm. It knows it hurt. The rest of the body can't ignore it. The pills only come to trick your mind and make you think your back is not hurt. Now, the situation not fixed. Mm -hmm. That's an illusion. Yes, what these preachers do, they're not teaching these people how to be saved. They just illusion these people to believe they're going somewhere they ain't even going. Yes, they know their lifestyle don't line up with it, but you know what? I don't care. This when you get dumb. I don't care what no man say. I don't care what no Bible say. Just what my God say. When did your God tell you anything? Why you turn around a book that your God ain't, ain't using? I read in the Bible, it tells me not to wear brown, but my God say, where? Throw this book in the garbage bin. That makes no sense. These preachers have a style. They know it's more money, just like traditional medicine. Who you think make the most money? Traditional medicine. Because people will pay you to illusion you know? them. That's why these churches, these guys go to church, to learn, they go to school to learn a couple of tricks for you. What school teach them, the religious institution? He vomit institution. I know he don't sat down. I'll stand up and let your back hurt a little bit so you go on the club. <laughs> but what they'll, what they'll do, they teach them how to do business because people suckers for a good speaking preacher. They teach them how to look for business and how to micromanage and how to set people in position. To look smart, just like Bush did, you get a bunch, you surround yourself with smart people. Bush looked around and knew he was dumb. 
Only smart to say he did, he lined himself around with people that were geniuses in their field. Yes, sir. He know I'm too stupid to make any decision. Let me get some people smarter than me. That's what these schools teach. Mm -hmm. So they come in and give you these business and start setting up all these little groups and start giving all these little time. Now they got people, they don't have deacons, they have, I'm going to make you a care pastor. See, that makes you feel like you're acting somebody when you ain't nothing. But you'll pay money because you've been a loser believe you are something. What they made you ain't lined up with no Bible. That's right. Your church that flow by the Spirit. How can you judge the Spirit when you don't have the Word? That's right. You good. Yeah, you welcome. <laughs> I'll use your gift. Just be wait. <laughs> People rather hear lies than hear truth. Why do you think comedians are big for people? Mm -hmm. People like sitting around listening to people tell them jokes and lies. People buy rap music. Somebody telling you about your daughter a whore. You know your daughter a whore. You know what she wear. You know how many boys call your daughter. You know how many guys come over your house. You know how many times your daughter sleep out, but you listen to a record and tell you your daughter a whore. Pastor Smith come along and teach you whoredom is against the word of God. God word. He judges. He talk about people. Your rap. He calls you nigga. It's amazing what people will accept. It's bad. You know what I learned? I used to be an abusive man years ago. And the person that's the abuser and the person being abused are both addicted. They don't lie. Ain't that right? They don't lie. I used to beat them, and then I had to try to make up because I didn't want to call the police on me. So you start doing what you had to do, and she got that threat on you. So you got to be good. You can't hit them. Then you wait a little time, and you go back and you crank them over here again, and you tell her, you, I don't be want to hit you, but you make me hit you. And she said, I'm going to stop trying to make you hit me, and she put it back on you. Both of you addicted. See, people don't want to, uh, people don't want to break addictions. Just like drugs and cigarettes and fornication. These things become addictive behaviors. Because the flesh has a, it has a unique way. It can learn to accept anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just like when you take a person and put them in the military and you train them to be special for it. They don't come in already right. trained. Right. They learn to adapt. When you first take them through boot camp, it's the hardest thing they ever seen. After a while, you know what happened? Your body adapts. Yes, Mentally, you focus yourself. You say, I can do this. Mm -hmm. They train you, nothing moves you. You take the same training in these churches. A lot of these preachers are number of psychology majors. Yes, Look at these people. This man that just yes, killed him, a major in the military. Psychiatrist. A man they pay to sit down and hear people problem. Nobody heard his. I told one of them, I got psychiatrists that email me, tell me their problem. I said, What fool paying you? I need to get your check. You write me, won't help. Y'all be surprised some of the stuff these people put in the emails or stuff they got going on. And people are paying these people. See, what you got to have is the spirit. People don't want nobody spiritual. Because when you're spiritual, you can't go with what fits you or the flow or what's the norm. You got to come back to what revert back to the word. People don't want that. I keep telling my problem. You keep talking about the word. I don't have nowhere else to go. What am I going to do? I got to revert back to my teaching. That's what these psychiatrists, they revert back to their teaching. That's amazing what people will accept. And then I'll look like the crazy man. I'll look like the cult leader. But when they sit down and look at what they're doing and what they've been trained and what they believe, then you need to ask yourself, am I actually one in the cult or are you in a cult? Mm -hmm. What we teach people to do is to be a free thinker. A free thinker sat down and nodded. You can't just listen to what somebody tells you. Can you follow in the Bible? Mm -hmm. The average study these people here, one scripture read, and then they jump and jump all over the place, all yes, this sir. wonderful stuff God yes, doing. Sir. Can't read it, find it nowhere. Mm -hmm. Nobody tell you God gonna sit nobody to hell because people don't give money behind stuff like that. Yes, sir. Only time God gonna see you to hell if you don't give enough for church anniversary and pastor appreciation. If you talk about pastor and who he's sleeping with, you going to hell. You talk about at the room, the big room here, pastor gay, everybody going to hell. But people pay for that. People, you would have First John chapter three at verse one. Yes, sir. This is First Epistle John chapter three at verse one. They ain't gonna teach these folks. They listen to the book. Behold, Behold, what men of love uh -huh. the Father had bestowed upon us, mm -hmm. that we should be called the sons of God. That's son. He said it's love. He did this in love. People want to talk about the love of God. He got the love of God. What man of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. This is an adoption. 
Isn't that right? Yeah. Listen to the book. Therefore, you know what happened? the world knoweth us not. Because what? Because it knew him not. I, I, it would be something wrong with what I'm teaching and preaching if everybody caught right on to it. Mm -hmm. If everybody seen it, he just said the world know I'm not. You know who I, who I know can't see what I'm teaching? The world. That's right. He just, he, in their Bible, 1 John 3 and 1 just said, he took 3 and 2 just said the world know it not because it knew who? Because it knew him if not. If they didn't know him and they killed him, why do I expect them to know me if I walk just like he walk and talk like he talk? That's right. I believe the same thing he believed, but everybody know me. I'm his seven and everybody should love me. How? Did they love him? No, sir. I can see Jesus now. You have a new car, new home. God's going to give you a husband. Kill him, stone him. Could have did it for that. Who going to kill a man and walk around blessing everybody? Yeah. But if you walk around and you condemning people's behavior, if you come along and you giving folk correction, that's when people want you to die. Yes, sir. Listen to the book.